when I joined this class, I thought that this was going to be easy. I'd taken speech before in high school, and I procrastinated a lot then. I'd wait till the day of it and write the, but we didn't have to do it. The, to the extent of the stuff we have to do in this class, all we had to do is just, I'd write up my, what I was going to say, stand at the podium, and present it. I didn't have to outline it. I didn't have to do any of that stuff. I figured it would be the same exact thing. Oh, I could wait till the last minute and type it up. It'd be easy. And kind of like Tish, I only had three classes. I was like, cool. <laughs> three classes, really easy. Except for I also have math. <laughs> Absolutely. But I, I, I figured it'd be easier than, or just as easy as English because I'm very strong in English. It's my best subject, it always has been. I have a knack for language. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what I have learned in this class because I have learned quite a bit, even though I have taken it before. I knew things such as to watch the ums and the uhs, even though I may not be the best at not doing that. I wanted to show you my sp speeches, and I want to talk to you a little bit about some of the humor in my life, and the thoughts I've had in this class. The first thing I have here is uh, the first speech, which was a significant other, and it was on my mother because she means so much to me. And one of the things, I'm not sure you guys have done it, but I go back now and I sit there and I think of things, oh, I could have done this or I could have done that to my speech to make it that much better. This morning, I was in a really chipper mood and I was listening to a really old song entitled, Don't Worry, Be Happy. And when I was a child, I used to go around singing that all the time and I thought that, that would have been a really good introduction to my mom. Uh, I got pretty good marks, I think, uh, good use of time, uh, really good at ad-libbing, which surprised me because in high school I was in drama and <coughs> I didn't think I knew how to ad-lib. Uh, putting me on the spot, I get the deer in the headlights look, like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> and so being told that I'm good at ad-libbing surprised me. Uh, I missed the second speech, which is the demonstration due to uh, miscommunication. I thought I was going on a different day, so I wasn't prepared to go the day I was supposed to go. Um, the third speech was the past speeches, and I did mine on Franklin Delano Roosevelt, and I, I ended up making a mistake. I stated the wrong date at which Pearl Harbor was bombed. I didn't realize it. I was thinking the correct date, and I said the wrong day. Maybe I was thinking of my grandmother or something, because her birthday's in August, and it was in December. I don't know why, but it happened. I got a decent marks on that. Learned I say um a lot. For the fourth speech, it was the why would you hire me, and I feel like that was the turning point in the class. I felt like it was my strongest speech, even though I got a C on it. I felt like it could have been a lot better had I done my interviews and uh, had I done my interviews and I probably would have gotten a lot better grade. For the fifth speech, was our life speech, and I really liked that. It was really interesting. It was the first time I went to a political rally. It was the first time I went to any rallies, and I went to two of them, and it was really cool. Uh, the political rallies really interested me because I really like politics. I got into that in high school when I took my civics class, 
I had a teacher who presented the information and made it mean something. He, you know, because my generation has some of the lowest turnouts when it comes to voting, and he made sure that we knew that we needed to get out there and vote. We need to have our voice heard. And I think in some ways, maybe that's why you have the, the things that have been going on with the, the, the I can't remember what it's called, the, in the Occupy movement. Because we're finally to the point where we're realizing we need to have our voice heard. And I think it's really cool. I'm, even though I don't necessarily agree with some of the things maybe that they're saying, like that speaker who came in and said, it's everybody has a voice, and so they're voicing everybody's voice. And when he presented that, I understood that, and I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Because before, I thought that it was stupid. <coughs> I thought they were just mad young adults who maybe they got their feelings hurt or something. But after they he explained what their purpose was, I understood it, and I was like, okay, that's cool. Not for me, but it's still cool nonetheless. With the <laughs> sixth speech, <laughs> was our the group speech, and I didn't really get that much time because Nancy talked longer than me. But <laughs> I still got a B, which is really cool. Right? right. On the Especially when she's not here, right? <laughs> uh, I like this speech. It was really cool to learn how the school worked. It was really cool to meet the faculty. Uh, I've already met some of them and talked to them and got to know them somewhat on a personal level. But to see how the school runs and see what they have to do in their meetings and seeing how meetings run. I remember seeing, watching a video my mom was take, that she was doing in a class on how to function in a meeting, how a proper meeting is supposed to go. And when I went to this meeting, <coughs> It was exactly like what that video was sh showing. And it was really cool to sit there and actually be a part of a meeting and see how people come together from all different backgrounds and can collaborate and come up with ideas and make things work, especially in an educational environment, which is important to all of us because that's why we're here. And the fact that they were trying to make e-learning better because Right now it's not perfect, and it probably will never be perfect, but the fact that they're trying to figure out ways to make things work better, it intrigued me, especially after they took the time to explain to Nancy and I what e-learning is, what the purpose of their group was, and what they're trying to accomplish. And then sitting down and explaining different aspects of what they're doing, because at first, they were just talking amongst themselves and passing around ideas and everything like they would be. And then one of the members, I don't know if she realized we had this confused look on her face or what, but she asked us and then got us involved. And I really appreciated that. Um, and here's the visuals that I didn't get to pass around. And then I have a spot for this speech. My thoughts more so pertain to school. Like last week I was sitting there and I had the thought of, wow, this class was really fun, but it's going to be kind of sad when it's over. Cause getting to hear all of you guys speeches and feeling the emotions when you guys got sad or were crying it moved me and made your speeches that much better and then also laughing when something funny happened in class or somebody said something funny especially as everybody said just watching Rico just be up here and just like, you could tell he was nervous and being friends with him and dealing with him outside of class, just hearing how stressed he is, especially giving his speech tomorrow. He's all nervous and makes you realize 
how much more interesting we all are. I didn't take think about things like that. I just would come to school, do my stuff, and go home. I had also had the thought of wondering where this quarter went. Uh, some things I learned in this class was how to give a proper speech. 